Well, let me just say, we at Warner Brothers are very excited to see what you have cooked up for this Harry Potter TV reboot. Well, my team is super excited to get- Also, um, just because we've kind of designed our multi-million dollar theme parks around the specific set design of the last films, uh, we were thinking, you know, for synergy reasons, that we're probably gonna wanna keep the castle. Oh, okay, so same castle? Yeah, same castle. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. And you know, audiences might reject this vision if it's a little too different, too fast, so sort of general aesthetics, uh, creature design, the look of magic, yeah, we're, we're gonna wanna keep all that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, familiarity, yeah. And you know, when you think about it, I mean, the music is just so iconic. I mean, that original score, I mean, you're not gonna get better than that. Oh, totally. No, I mean, you're not because we're gonna keep that. Oh yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so what were we thinking with casting? Well, we hadn't really- Cause we were thinking, you know, you've got these iconic performances, Michael Gambon, Rafe Fiennes, a, a Dame Maggie Smith. Why not just bring them back? Okay. Because to the general audience, I mean, they are these characters. Sure. You know, why not have them reprise these iconic roles? Yeah, yeah, keeping some of the cast makes sense. But then there are actors who can't reprise their roles. You know, the late Alan Rickman, Robbie Coltrane. Yeah, of course, rest in peace. But we do have the old footage. Oh, um, yeah. So we were thinking, you know, you could just use that and splice it in with the new stuff. You know, Carrie Fisher. Is. Okay, so just the kids would be recast? Everyone else would just be the actor from the movies? Yeah, I suppose the kids are all too old now. Well, okay. What's up? I mean, if we're already using the old footage, we might as well just keep the old kids too, right? Okay, so we're just keeping the exact same set, cast, music, and footage? Yeah, and then just like cut in 10 hours of new stuff. Are we gonna like change the story or? No. You don't want us to like flesh out the houses or like take out the goblin anti-Semitism? Hmm. Change Cho Chang's name to fucking literally anything else? No, we like all that stuff. Okay. If you could squeeze in the part where Hermione tries to end elf slavery, but then learns that they all actually really like it, I can try to get on the phone with Emma's agent. Do you also want us to keep the part where Harry's gifted a slave by his godfather and he doesn't immediately free him? You know, just for now, let's say keep all the slavery. Cool, okay. Also, just so you know, JK is not gonna make our jobs easy here. Okay, so if you have any reservations- Oh, no, I, I wouldn't have taken this job if I had principles. <sighs> okay, okay, just making sure. Oh yeah, I have no issues financially supporting an open transphobe. Well, you know, let's hope the audience doesn't either. Also, you know, the whole uh, Black Hermione, gay Dumbledore thing. Oh yeah, are we finally gonna do that? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no chance. Yeah, that makes sense. 